Most farmers have a scarce amount of money that they're going to invest in fertiliser and lime and they want to know where they're going to get the best return from where they invest that. So for farmers around the Kojanup area, the Southern Dirt Trial is going to be a godsend. It's going to help them try and figure out where to put their scarce dollars to get the best return on their investment. Phosphorus is a critical, essential element for crop production, but over 75% of our soils in the weed belt now have phosphorus soil test levels that are above the critical levels. Continuing to increase the soil phosphorus above that level is not likely to be a great investment, um, except in some circumstances. Uh, water repellent soils may still respond, and uh, we get dry starts to the season, it, you might still respond. Uh, this particular site has a uh, soil test of 42 parts per million, whereas the critical level for this type of soil is about 30. So the critical questions here for uh, management is, can you turn off phosphorus? Can you reduce it? And if so, by how much? Phosphorus is very important for early root growth in crops so that they establish a good root system. So one of the strategies that we're looking at in this experiment is applying a small amount of starter phosphorus, about two to three kilograms, applied as a liquid with the seed to see if that's enough to give that early boost and whether you get the same response from that small amount on a high phosphorus soil as you would with the, the normal rate of phosphorus. Farmers can experiment with their phosphorus fertiliser um, by using soil testing. So if they make any significant change to their uh, rate of application, then they can monitor what the consequence is uh, by looking at the soil tests over a period of years. Soil tests become very powerful when we start to plot them across whole paddocks and whole farms to see where the major limitations are to production. And that way farmers can start to target the inputs that they require, what they need and where they need them across the whole farm. And we're finding that this makes huge differences to their bottom line. One possibility is that farmers could uh, swing some of the investment from phosphorus into lime if they can work out a strategy for reducing the amount of phosphorus. And a lot of farmers are struggling to uh, find a, a way to invest sufficient money into lime and uh, that's resulting in a large percentage of our agricultural soils becoming excessively acidic. It's widely accepted now that soil acidity is a major problem in Western Australia. Aluminium toxicity caused by low pH uh, reduces root growth and nutrient uptake and water, up, water availability. Um, low pH also affects nodulations of legumes. So there's a lot of growers thinking that they're growing quite productive legume crops and pastures to fix nitrogen and it's possibly not. And it also affects to a lesser extent the availability of, of nutrients. The Cogenup trial will compare different rates of phosphorus and different strategies of phosphorus with and without lime. And then we'll use that data to do some economic analysis of what's the, uh, the best investment. So the, the message here, it's not about replacing phosphorus with lime. Both lime and phosphorus are essential. Um, it's a matter of understanding what's the main constraint. So if you've already got adequate, well above adequate phosphorus levels, but an acidity problem, then the better investment might be to look at how you can spend more money on lime and less on phosphorus.